Let's step then beyond uh, the big picture and the rather abstract numbers that are being traded here at Westminster and talk about one of the specific projects uh, that have been uh, discussed uh, this morning. Uh, we can talk to uh, David Davis, Conservative MP, MP for Halton Price and Howden, and the uh, plan for the uh, Humber is one of the big announcements, uh, Mr Davis. Uh, tell me what your reaction to it is. Is it sufficient to stop what was happening in communities uh, uh, in East Yorkshire? what earlier this year with concerns about further flooding yeah well what it is for us is an 80 million pound but that's just a down payment what's much more important is that the government has agreed to take a strategic view of the whole humber historically they've sort of measured one bit and said we're going to have a return on that you can't protect something as big and important as the humber that way so we argued me cross-party group of all the MPs locally, all the local councils said we've got to take a strategic view. They've agreed that there's going to be a study carried out between now and July so that next year's autumn statement can give you a multi-decade proposal, 900 million we think it'll be. So 80, billion, 80 million is just a down payment but it's a good one, it's a, it's a good start. You're, you're wearing the facial expression of a man who feels as, as if the pennies finally dropped somewhere <laughs> in Whitehall, they finally got the scale of the problem and they have to do a bit of joined up thinking. It, 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 has there been a breakthrough, do you think? I, I think so. I mean, when we were going through briefing a number of people on the, uh, the concept of a strategic approach to flood defence, defend a whole area, because water goes sideways when it goes through, then you know, at one point there, there was a light bulb moment. You could see suddenly that they got the idea. And it wasn't just relevant to the Humber, it was relevant to about five major projects, and that's what you're seeing today. Is there a danger, though, inevitably with infrastructure planning, it, it, there's a, there's a long-term focus mm. involving huge amounts of money that extend beyond the lifetime of any one parliament, mm. that come a new parliament with either a similar government, a different government, whatever kind of government, that the whole thing is a very easy cull. It's a very easy, oh gosh, the budgets are still tight, maybe we're going to have to pull that money back. Well, two things. Firstly, this was a, this was a cross-party, cross-levels of government campaign on our part, so I think that's less, less at risk. But secondly, the, long, the further you get into the programme, the, uh, the less likely it is to be cancelled. Because, you know, you build three quarters of a bridge, it's stupid to cancel the last bit of the bridge. Yeah. You build three quarters of a flood protection programme, it's just plain daft to cancel the last bit. And of course it creates jobs, it creates uh, employment, actually in the long run it creates and protects wealth. So it's, it's actually, I think, an unlikely cull once it's started. And are they giving you definite promises about when it will start? Given that you say once it's started, hopefully it won't stop until it's finished, when are those shovels going to hit the ground? Well, I, well, some of it's straight away. I mean, the 80 million is pretty much straight away. And I think the reason they did that was politics as well as economics. They wanted to be clear to people this wasn't just an airy-fairy promise beyond the election, which after all is a reasonable, <laughs> reasonable worry. Uh, no, they're actually starting now. Part of my long part of my frontage with the with the estuary is now going to be started. Uh, the the, the defence is for so you know the, it's it's underway. David Davis, we're grateful to you. David Davis, there, Conservative MP for Halton Price and Howden, reflecting on that uh, announcement as far as the Humber estuary is concerned.